Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abel and we are back with Football Manager 2021 and Hammer Time with West Ham United. And a match at Wembley, which I didn't think I'd be saying this season. This save at all. West Ham versus Everton. FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. If we win, we've got a final. But we're playing at Wembley. That was not what I was expecting from this season. A cup run like this was not on the cards, but we've had a, a fortunate run up to the quarterfinals where we faced Leicester and won last episode. Everton today, and we will face either Arsenal or Chelsea if we beat Everton in a final. Rest assured that if we do make that FA Cup final, I will be suiting up for it, and that will also be a premiere on YouTube as well. So if we get to an FA Cup final, then um, hopefully we can all watch it together. Um, and I will be suiting up for it. It was last episode. We defeated Leicester three goals to one in the quarterfinals. Ale with a first half goal. Perez equalised for Leicester not long into the second half. And then it was substitute Emi Brindier with a brace off the bench to give us a 3-1 win. One of the goals from an insane, ridiculous angle. A 3-1 win sent us through to today's semi-final. Chelsea face Arsenal in the second semi-final on the Sunday. So we are first up. We'll have to wait and see who we face in the potential final. And speaking of Chelsea, we did face them in one of two games off camera. The other game was a win at Villa Park against West Ham. Another comfortable performance here and a really good, well-rounded team performance as well. Really impressive uh, with lots of possession, uh, lots of chances to score. We got a couple of goals. Villa, unlucky not to score. They had a couple of chances themselves and very unlucky not to come away. Maybe with a point from this one, but um, we played really, really well. The first goal came from Ale in the 12th minute to get him double figures for the season. That's a big one there. Double figures for Ale. He's been good this year. I wasn't sure what he'd be like, but football manager, he seems to be a good striker to have. Early in the second half, we doubled our lead and it was Damari Gray with what I think was his first league goal. I think his last goal was in an FA Cup tie. So we got a 2-0 lead. Jack Grealish had the ball in the net in the 86th minute, but it was disallowed as he was offside. And then, as mentioned, we did take on Chelsea. This one was at home, and it was a good draw. I think we did well to get a point from this. It was a very tight match. Both teams, you know, equally good. The Chelsea goal came from Mason Mount about midway through the first half, and uh, Chelsea did take a lead. But in the second half, we did equalise from the penalty spot. VAR taking a, a little while over the decision. Ben Chilwell judged to have fouled in the box. And the penalty was given with no Mark Noble. He was on the bench. Uh, Sebastian Allard took the penalty and converted it to equalise for us. So yeah, just a couple of matches off camera just to get to this FA Cup semi-final. And just seven games left in the Premier League as well. There's some tough ones in there, but there's also some, you know, games that we can win in there. I don't know why we've taken so long to face Chelsea. The fixtures seem a little bit, like, messy. Like, we haven't faced Sheffield United yet this season. That's really strange that it's waited until our last eight games to see Chelsea and Sheffield United at all. That's really strange, and I don't really know why it's done that. But yeah, as I said, we are in sixth place, only just. We are level on points with Tottenham. Our goal difference is just a tiny bit better. It's positive, which is nice, because not long ago it was negative, but we've got some good results. But hopefully we can end this with a trophy of some sort as well. Everton in an FA Cup semi-final. We are favourites for the game. Everton are in the relegation zone. I don't know what's happened to Everton. They've sacked Carlo Ancelotti. Their new manager is Michael O'Neill, the former Northern Ireland manager. Of course, FA Cup means that Darren Randolph will go back in between the sticks. I want to try and play my strongest team here, and I think this is my strongest team. I think we're going to go Ben Johnson. He missed the last game due to a bit of a knock, and Anderson wasn't too good either. So uh, we're going to start Johnson. Uh, I think we'll go back to Balbuena in place of Ogbonna, although they haven't really got the link up as much. Balbuena hasn't played as much as Ogbonna, but he's been playing well. Again, he was just rested for the previous game. Uh, I'm going to put Bowen onto the bench as well. Bowen's been a bit of a disappointing one for us and could be someone that we maybe look to move on because he's been a little bit of an underwhelming signing. Hasn't played a great deal. I mean, he started 11 games, four goals. Might be someone to look at maybe um, replacing if we do get Europe and try and get some bigger players in and some better players in. We'll have to wait and see. But that's the team we're going to go with today. We're going to stick with that three at the back. Declan Rice as libero does seem to be working really, really well. So let's keep it going. And hopefully we can win this and get through to a final. We haven't long played Everton in the league. That ended 2-0. Let's see how this one ends. Everton's team. Uh, Pickford, Godfrey, Keane, Mina, Holgate, Delph, Allen, Sigurdsson, Rodriguez, Richarlison and Calvert-Lewin. It's a strong team for Everton. It's probably their strongest team. 
As you may have noticed, uh, faces, logos, and license fixes are now in my game. Uh, we'll also be adding kits um, very soon. And if you do want to add these graphics for yourself, there is a link to the page on Sort It Out SI in the description. Okay, here we go. Um, I like this layout as well. You can actually click on these players, which you can't do on the previous team sheet that we saw. But there's the Everton side um, matching our shape. Exactly the same shape. So this could be an interesting match here. As the teams come out for the semi-final at Wembley, this is going to be big. Early on, there is a corner for Everton here, and it's a header by Michael Keane, which uh, is over two minutes in. Here's Ben Johnson to Socek. Allaire. Johnson gets it back. Fornaus. Allaire. And that didn't take too long. Not long after Everton's chance from the set piece. We have made it 1-0. Sebastian Allaire, with three minutes on the clock, makes it 1-0. First blood. That's a good start of the game. A brilliant start to the game. Just really patient, really simple passing. And there was almost too easy a goal there. Four nails to Alair, Good turn. And a good shot with the left foot. 1-0. Oh, we've got an injury. Haven't had a lot of these this season. This is one of the very few times that I've actually had to substitute a play due to injury. Damari Gray has picked up an injury. It's a foot injury. That could be anything. That's not really what we wanted. So we've got a choice of Bowen or Yarmolenko. I think Yarmolenko does better on the right. So we're going to bring on Jared Bowen. He does play as that inverted winger. Uh, we've gone with him ahead of Ben Rama today. I wonder how this is going to go. If he can get a goal, then, you know, he's got a good chance of starting in the future. Not really ideal, that. Having to make an early change, especially in a big cup game like this. Here's Richarlison for Everton. And it's a well one tackle by Johnson. Is that going to be a foul? Referee is going to check VAR here. Everton may get a penalty here. Let's see. It is a penalty. Everton, a chance to equalise here. Um, I wish this would move out of the way. Gilfie Sigurdsson's taken it. 18 minutes in. Everton to equalise here. And it's a good penalty. Randolph did go the right way but couldn't get to it. It's one apiece. Everton equalising from 12 yards. Bad few minutes for us there. We had the injury to Gray. And then we give away the penalty. Not really what we want to see. Need to get a goal to get back in front ASAP. Aaron Cresswell's going to chase this down. Here's Socek. Cresswell gets it back. Bundia. Four nows. So check. Can have a go from there. We can shoot from range. We've seen it a couple of times. Again, we're passing it patiently here. I've got a bit of a sniffle coming. I'm sorry. Hopefully this isn't the start of a cold coming. Still got the ball. Still passing it very patiently. That's a good ball. Johnson on the overlap. And the cross. And it's cleared by Godfrey. Here's Balbuena. To four nows. We're going to go again here. Bowen from the bench. Can he find something here? He sets up Allaire. Deflected. And again, and Allaire scores 2-1. We've had three goals in the first quarter of the game. Oh, we could be in for a few goals today. It's 2-1. And Gerard Bowen playing a part in the goal as well, which is nice to see as Allaire has a shot that's deflected. But Deer's shot is then also blocked. And Allaire eventually gets the ball in the net. Third time of asking for us. So 2-1. Okay, we are dominating the possession. We've had a couple of good shots on target. And we've got less than 10 minutes of the first half. Can we maybe get a third goal here? Although Everton with a throw in in a good position. Here's Alan to Mason Holgate. Alan gets it back. Here's Dominic Calvert-Lewin. James to Holgate. And he finds Calvert-Lewin again. And Sigurdsson. Ooh, just over. And as we approach half time, um, I feel like it's a very close game. We're doing okay. XG slightly higher, but not by too much. Shame that we've been forced into an early change with the injury to Gray. Hopefully, we don't see too many more of them as the season ends. But for our half time, we're winning. Let's try and keep it that way. We've got, I wouldn't say we've got one foot in the final, but things are going well. Hopefully, we can build on this. We need another goal. We really need another goal. Everton kick off the second half. And here's Mason Holgate, who's got space out wide. Can uh, the left-back Cresswell stay with him? He has so far, but manages to find James. And then Calvert-Lewin has equalised again for Everton. And that was less than 25 seconds into the second half. Great start to the second half for Everton. Okay, this is getting a bit nervy now. 
I mean, Cresswell managed to stay with Holgate, but he eventually managed to find Hamas Rodriguez, and that's a great ball for Calvert-Lewin to get on the end of. Really good cross by Hamas Rodriguez. And early in the second half, Everton have equalised for a second time. Okay. That was clever. Richarlison straight offside, let it go, and Calvert-Lewin was onside and won the header. That was That was smart. Oh dear, Everton with a free kick here now. We're still less than five minutes into the second half. Rodriguez is on this. And Calvert-Lewin gets another shot away. And it's... Oh my God! They're in front now. What is this? Richarlison has made it 3-2. Oh dear, the second half has not started well for us at all. Five minutes in. We've conceded twice in the second half. And then Rodriguez again. It's another, another delivery by Rodriguez. And... Oh, there was a couple of saves in there, but eventually Richarlison pretty much put it into an open goal. Okay, things are getting a bit interesting now. Declan Rice is on a 6-4. 20 minutes to go. We're losing. I didn't think it, I didn't think it would go like this. Oh dear, where's the time going? We're going to move Declan Rice up to midfield. Oh, Bowen has not done well since he came on. Rice as well hasn't been good. Right, Noble's going to come on for Rice. We're going to get some experience out there. We're going to go very attacking, try and get this goal. Right, we're going to try and force the opposition inside. We're going to try and play that wide defensive line. Okay, this has suddenly gotten like really, really nervous. There's 10 minutes left of normal time. That's not a good throw by Rodriguez. Here's Aaron Cresswell. It's 3-2. Can we equalize here to send it to 3-3? We could be seeing an extra time with this game. Here's four nows. Mark Noble, the substitute. Cresswell's going to stay forward. This needs to be a good cross. And it is this bad dear. It's 3-3. As we are in the last 10 minutes of the game. This is a thrilling semi-final. Holy hell. Oh. It's, it's, it's been a great game. I, I mean, my, my heart is really going at the moment. What on earth sort of shot was that? It was a, like a volley by Buendia. That was insane. Right. Uh, we're going to go back to attacking. I think we're going to see extra time here. There's five minutes left. It's 3-3. Although there, might, there may still be time for another goal. Here's John Joe Kenny for Everton. Rodriguez, who has been a real star this game for Everton. Here he is. Don't let him get that cross away. Great tackle by Cresswell, but Kenny's got it. And it's Richarlison and it's 4-3. Oh, God. It's going to end in tears, isn't it? Uh, have we got another change we can make? We do. Right. We need to put another striker up there, don't we? We just have to. Fernandez going to come up for Suchek. There's two and a half minutes of normal time. It's 4-3. Uh, see, Everton, like they had a bad Premier League season. They're putting all their eggs in this FA Cup basket. And at the moment, they're just two, three minutes away from an FA Cup final. Two minutes left. Okay, that's a bad distribution by Pickford. Carlos Fernandez. This needs to be a goal right now. This has got to be a goal. Is it a penalty? There's a foul right on the edge of the 18-yard box. I think it's going to be outside. I think it's going to be a free kick. But another VAR decision here. It's not a penalty. It's a free kick. Or is it just not even a foul? I don't know. But we've, oh, we're in the last minute. Okay, we have to score. Allaire. Oh, he's giving it away. Sigurdsson to Richarlison. Delph. Oh, no. We need to get the ball now. And Delph's... Oh, it's a throw-in right by the corner flag. That's going to be it. There's no way there's time now. I'm gutted. I can't believe we've lost that. <laughs> I'm so upset. Oh, no. I really thought we were going to get a cup final from this. I mean, it was an it was a it was a ent entertaining as hell game, but just not our night. The injury to Gray Bowen did not do well. Maybe we should have gone Ben Rama from that bench, or even brought on Yarmolenko. But Jared Bowen not up to it today. That Mario Gray gets injured early on, it just wasn't our day. Just wasn't our day. Balbuena a six point three. Declan Rice, I think, conceded the penalty. Yeah. I... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say to them. Um, hands in pockets. It would have been nice to win, but it wasn't to win. It wasn't to be. Okay, that's 
yeah, that's a good team talk, I think. It, it just wasn't our day. It just wasn't our day. West Ham fall at the semi-final. That's a tremendous shame, but really good FA Cup run. I think we're expected to get to round four, maybe round five. Let's have a look. Fifth round, which we've done. We passed that. That's good. So, you know, the board of... The board are thrilled. A plus performance at the moment. Our league, our league run is fantastic. We got as far as we were expected to get in the FA Cup. We got further. Carabao Cup didn't go as well. So all that remains is the final seven games of the Premier League season. Uh, so we'll see how those last seven games go. As it stands, we are just about in the Europa League places on goal difference. So it's very, very tight. Ooh, Tottenham just lost at home to Newcastle. So we now have a game in hand, and if we win that, we'll go three points clear. Do you know what? I think we're going to do Man City next time. I think I think we need a big game, and I think going to the Etihad, we're only 11 points behind Man City with a game in hand. It's highly unlikely we're going to catch them and get top four. It's almost impossible, I think. But I fancy a challenge. So next episode, we're going to take on the former league champions, uh, Man City. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below. Leave comments if you haven't done so already. Or if you're new, do subscribe and turn on notifications. Just not our day today in that FA Cup. Real shame that we went out that way. I think we led a couple of times. We did well to get the semi-final. Just a shame that we couldn't go that little bit further. So we'll see how we do in these last few league games. We'll take on Man City next episode, see how we go there. Let's see if we can finish in that top six and get a Europa League uh, place for next year. But for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.